Aria has two cones that have the same volume. One cone is three times the height of the other. Give an expression for the radius R of the shorter cone in terms of R, the radius of the taller cone. So there, this is the taller cone, okay, and this is the shorter cone. So we'll call this the taller cone. So this is the taller, and this is the shorter. The diagram is not drawn to scale, so it's a bit misleading if you only look at the diagram. So we'll call this the taller and this is the shorter. So this is the key thing. The two, vol the two cones have the same volume. So to generalize, we'll say Vt, Vt for t taller, is equal to Vs for smaller. That means the volume of the taller cone is equal to the volume of the shorter cone. Okay, the second thing is one cone is three times the height of the other. That means, say, let us, this is a taller cone. So let me draw a height here. So let me draw, this is, say, the height of the taller cone. And this is the height of the shorter cone. Okay, so what are they telling us? This taller cone height is three times this height. So let me use a different color. So that means if this is, say, Y, the height is y, this is 3y, the height of the taller one is 3y. Okay, now before we move on, you should know the formula of the volume of a cone would be given, so if you don't know, or if it is not given, uh, you should know it. So volume of a cone has this formula, is one third pi r squared h, this is the general formula if you know pi r squared h is the volume of a cylinder okay so i'll not go into that so volume of a cone this is the formula this formula either you should know it or it would be given in your formula sheet so so let us first write what is vt vt stands for the volume of the taller cone volume of the taller cone would be one third pi times capital R squared times H. Your H is 3Y. So let me write 3Y. So I hope you understand this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So if you simplify this, this is nothing but pi R squared times Y. That's the volume of the taller cone. Okay, Vs is the volume of the shorter cone. Would be one third pi times R squared times y. So which is nothing but one third pi r squared times y. Okay, so can we write, okay, my, we want to give an expression for the radius r of the shorter cone in terms of r, the radius of the bigger cone. So we're going to write this same thing in an opposite way. Can I say vs is equal to Vt. That is, the volume of the shorter cone is equal to the volume of the taller cone. Now, what is Vs? It's one third pi r squared y, and Vt is pi r squared y. Okay, so you got, okay, so I'll let me cancel this. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is, so you got pi, so let me, let us divide both sides by pi. So if you divide this side by pi, I'm going to divide this side by pi times y. So I can also divide this side by pi times y. So what will happen? You can cancel pi and pi and y and y. Same way you can cancel pi and pi, y and y. So now it's pretty easy, so what is left over is one third r squared, one third r squared is equal to r squared. I want to get rid of this one third. How can I get rid of the one third? So I'll say one third r squared times three. So I'm multiplying this side by three. So it also multiply this side by three. So this three and th this three gets canceled. So what is remaining is r squared is equal to 3r squared. 
Now, if you look at the diagram, it just doesn't make sense. I'll explain that. So I want to get rid of this square. So the opposite of square is square root. So I have to take the square root of r square on this side. So you have to take the square root of the right hand side, 3 r squared. So square root of r squared square and square root cancel each other out. So it's r. So the next step, I'm going to write this as square root of 3 times square root of r squared. You can write like this. Okay, suppose I'll give you an example. Some of you may wonder, how can you write like that? From one square root, how can I write two square roots? So let me give a side example. Suppose if it is square root of, say, 16, you should know it is 4. Can I write square root of 16 is square root of 4 times 4? And square root of 4 times 4 is nothing but square root of 4 times square root of 4. And square root of 4 is 2, so which is 2 times 2, which is 4. So you can split the square root like this. So therefore r is equal to square root of 3 times square root of r squared. So square and square root cancel each other out. So this is r. So this is your final answer. So r, your small r, is equal to square root of 3 times r. Okay, so now the diagram doesn't make sense. Actually, though this is a shorter cone, sorry, if, though this is a shorter cone, this is a fatter cone. So I would call, so let me explain. The volume, if this is taller and this is shorter, and if you have to have the same volume, this has to be a fatter cone. That means it, it has to have a greater radius. So this is a fatter, and this is a skinnier cone. This is a skinnier, I think this is how you write skinnier. So a best example would be in olden days, if you remember the Lauren, Lauren and Hardy. So this is say the Lauren, okay, short and fat, this tall and lean.